Welcome to the Lightspeed Restaurant Video Guide to your Zixel Networking Hardware. I'm Vinny, here to help you set up your new wireless network. This video will cover the three pieces of Zixel hardware that you may have received to build your network. A router, a switch, and an access point. You'll have a combination of these devices depending on your business's needs, and we'll show you how to set up each one. If you need more detailed help, you can find written setup guides on our help center for supported models, or you can follow the manufacturer's documentation. Before we continue, we want to note that you'll need access to the internet in your location. Lightspeed does not manage or support your external connection with the internet. In the case where your internet connection is not yet operational, please contact your internet service provider or your IT manager. The three Zixel hardware products are a router, a switch, and an access point. The router handles all the network traffic between the devices in your location and provides a connection with the internet for all of them. It's the source and hub of your Wi-Fi network, so all of your devices can connect wirelessly as well. The router only has four ports, and one of them is reserved for the connection to your ISP's device. If you wish to use more than three other devices, you'll need to use the Zixel switch, which provides eight ports to connect additional devices, including screens, printers, and more. Included in the router box is a magnetic stand, a power adapter, and a short ethernet cable. The switch has eight LAN ports, and it does not directly provide wireless access. Each port has PoE, or power over ethernet, which means connected devices can be powered by the switch itself. Included in the box is a power adapter, a plug, some rubber feet, as well as anchors and screws for wall mounting. The access point is designed to extend and strengthen your Wi-Fi network for areas where your wireless signal isn't strong or reliable enough for professional use. This model has one uplink port to connect to the network and one LAN port to connect an additional device. The access point supports both stationary and mobile POS devices. Included in the box is a mounting frame and screws. Ensure you have power outlets available for each of your devices. You do not need to plug in the access point if you are connecting it to the switch. The switch will provide power to the access point itself. Measure the distances between the locations where the devices are to be installed and ensure you have Ethernet cables long enough or have connections integrated into the walls to support the layout you wish to use. Long Ethernet cables are not provided. Take note of the MAC addresses and or serial numbers for each device. These can be found written on the labels for each unit. Keep this information handy in a file as these are useful details for support services. Now let's get started. You can attach the router to the magnetic base to keep the device upright. Connect the power cord to the round port on the back of the router and plug it into the outlet. The device will power on automatically. Connect an ethernet cable to your internet service provider's device and the other end to the WAN port in blue on the Zixel router. The default wireless network ID and password will be sent to you by Lightspeed. Connect the plug to the power adapter and plug it into an outlet. And then connect the power cord to the switch. The device will power on automatically. Connect an ethernet cable from the LAN1 port of the Zixel router to the LAN1 port of the Zixel switch. While any of the LAN ports can be used on either device, the best practice is to use these recommended ports. Connect any additional devices to the switch via ethernet by connecting network cables into any of the other ports. We strongly recommend using network cables in your kitchen area, since many kitchen appliances can interfere with a wireless network. To start, turn the access point over and remove the cover revealing the ports. It should come off readily by hand without needing too much pressure. Connect an ethernet cable from a LAN port on the Zixel switch to the uplink port in yellow of the Zixel access point. The LAN1 port of the access point can be used to connect an additional device with an Ethernet cable if desired. If you are connecting the access point to the switch, you do not need to supply power to it since it will be provided by the switch over the Ethernet cable. Replace the cover once you're done. If you wish to mount the access point on the wall or the ceiling, 
You can use the included mounting frame. Ensure all cables are attached before you mount the access point because the ports will not be accessible while mounted. Attach the frame to the wall with the included screws and then slide the access point into the frame until it clicks. And that's our starter guide to setting up your Zixel hardware. If you have any questions, just visit our K-Series Help Center.